Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, just first of all, uh, my name is Robert. I'm with uh, Colonial Life, and I'm here today to go over a few things that are coming down the pipe for you guys. And uh, first and foremost, I want to thank your owner, uh, Heath, for allowing this. He saw some great value in, in what we were able to bring to the table and, and also saw some ways to save you guys some money uh, on your check. And so I'm going to go through who we are and what we do and, and kind of go through our process today. It'll take a few minutes, and when I'm done, we'll see you tomorrow. Fair enough? Great. Uh, first and foremost, like I said, I'm with Colonial Life. Um, you guys are actually going to understand this a little bit more, being that you guys already have AFLAC in place here with your group. Um, but most importantly, what I want to do today is tell you each and every one of you, after looking over a cost comparison, are going to be able to save some money. You know, some of you guys are going to save 100 some of you guys may save $500 a year. Um, so what I want to do first is kind of tell you who we are for some people that may not know and, and kind of go through the process of what we do, okay? So... You guys could all agree that, you know, wages are the number one expense for the company here. Most important thing for each and every one of you is to get paid, right? Great. Uh, the next most biggest expense that most companies have is their major medical insurance, right? Okay. One of the things I always tell people about major medical insurance is it's got a lot of holes in it. It's like a block of Swiss cheese, right? Did you guys know that last year alone, 62% of all bankruptcies that were filed were filed due to medical bills? Here's the funny part, 78% of those folks had major medical insurance. Here's how it happened. Lack of benefit, communication, education, okay? Income protection is the first thing we're gonna talk about today. No matter what, after we get done doing what we're gonna do for you guys open enrollment, I wanna make sure each and every one of you have some sort of income protection. If you do already, like I said before, we're gonna be able to save you some money. If not, we wanna show you some options that are out there for you, okay? Survivor benefits, they say that 40% have not enough or none on the life insurance side of things. We're going to bring some options to the table for you on that as well. And lastly, we'll talk about catastrophic illness. We'll talk about the big three, heart attack, stroke, and cancer. There's not a person sitting in this room that hasn't been directly or indirectly affected by cancer at some point in their life. Um, they say that over 66% of all cancer expenses not paid for by major medical insurance. So we bring products to the table, just like you've seen from AFLAC that you have now. They are actually set to offset some of those out-of-pocket exposures and out-of-pocket expenses. Okay, you guys understand all that. If you have any questions, you can grab me when we get done and after everybody's left, and I'll answer your questions individually, or you can wait until tomorrow and when you sit down with the benefits council. Okay, process goes as follows: when you guys show when you guys show up tomorrow, each and every person in this room's got to sit down with the benefits council. Okay, when you walk out today, I'm going to hand you a packet with all the information with all of our products in it. And while you're here, I'm going to have you go ahead and put your name by a time slot on this sign-up sheet that we have, okay? Um, when you come in the next day, obviously, you'll know your time. Understand, we're not here to hold you hostage and make you buy something. We're not going to keep you in a room and try to, you know, make it a long, drawn-out process. If you're not interested, that's fine with us. We still have to see you. We want to make sure we get, a, get you logged into our system and logged out so that Heath has all those waivers on file to cover himself and also cover you as well. Um, so, again, when we get done here, just stop by here. Before you leave out, we need to get everybody, even if you're not interested, give you a packet, get you on the sign-up sheet, and we'll get this thing going tomorrow. Thank you guys very much. All right, uh, talking about the group meeting that we just kind of did, I know some of you may have heard differently and long or drawn-out versions of this. Understand, again, like we said about every step, know the goal. The goal is to let them know that we're coming, to let them understand the process and understand they have to participate in the process, okay? Um, you know, and build value in what we're doing. So that's why I go through the wheel presentation that we talked about um, to, to build the value. Uh, the most important thing in a group meeting is you want to have crowd control. Crowd control means this. You should make sure that they, everybody understands if you have questions, you can grab me when we get done on a one-on-one -on -one basis, and I'll answer those questions for you. Or you can save those questions for when the benefits counselor gets here. They're more than likely going to know more about the products and everything that you have than I will. Um, and just reiterate the process. Hey, you know, come out, grab your packet, get the sign-up sheet. We're not going to hold you hostage if you're not interested. We just need you to log in and log out of our system so that we have a waiver on file. The main, the main objective with the group meeting is for them to understand the process and know they have to participate. Let the benefits counselors do the rest.